Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Travel BC series. This time we're going to Nakusp, a small village located in southeastern British Columbia on the shores of Upper Arrow Lake. Originally distinctly separated, Upper and Lower Arrow Lakes became one 230 kilometers long lake after the creation of the Inleaside Side Dam. The lake stretches from Revelstoke in the north to Castlegar in the south. And this is where our journey started. Today we started in Revelstoke, we took Highway 23 south and then we boarded the ferry at Shelter Bay. There are other ways to get to Nakus. Uh, you can take Highway 3 from Alberta However, I really like taking this ferry there, um, both the Shelter Bay and Galena Bay uh, on the other side are really, really beautiful spots and I, I really enjoy the trip with this ferry and the ferry is free. And in the summer it runs really late at night. The last ferry departs Shelter Bay at midnight and Galena Bay at 12.30 a.m. And the cusp is another 50 kilometers south on Highway 23 from Galena Bay. And this highway is very picturesque. It's very beautiful area. Uh, it is another reason why we really enjoy going to Nakas this way. Um, heading uh, west on Highway 1 from Calgary and then at Revelstoke we'll head south on Highway 23. <laughs> The village of Nakusp has a population of 1600 people and it is famous for the hot springs. They are located 14 kilometers northeast of the village up the Kuskanax valley. The pools are built within a resort which offers uh, cedar chalets and the service campground. The water is piped from its source which is about a kilometer away. And yes, there are other hot springs on Highway 23 before you get to Nakasp. But we were not that interested in the hot springs, uh, we were there in, on May long weekend. So the water was pretty nice, I really don't enjoy hot water that much when the weather is warm like I can enjoy it in the winter like if if the temperature is around zero or below I can really enjoy going to hot springs but during the summer um, I don't find it that enjoyable and my wife on the other hand like she doesn't really want to soak in water for any extended period of time but Nakusp is not only famous for the hot springs, it is also famous for picturesque mountain lakeside setting. It has a beautiful small town uh, center or downtown. Um, it has like little shops and restaurants uh, and it is a really nice place to visit. And this here is the fuel consumption on my Mazda 6, which we had at the time. And this here is downtown the cusp. One of our favorite parts was the gardens and the waterfront walkway. The walkway runs along the shoreline of Upper Arrow Lake, 
along the town site uh, and it goes through the whole town um, and it crosses through different gardens as well and it is a beautiful beautiful place to take a short walk <laughs> And if you watched our videos, you would know by now that I'm a beach bum. Uh, the town has a beautiful beach on the shores of Upper Arrow Lake. Sandy beach that is with really nice sand and crystal clear water. The beach is located right at the edge of downtown right next to the campground and yes there is a campground in the uh, village of Nakasp which is serviced and this is a very popular spot so it is very hard to get a place in this campground actually like you have to book way in advance now uh, the water at the time was fairly cold, like I would say about in 18 up to 20 degrees at most. But this is again May long weekend, so this is around May 20th. And um, still at that temperature I would say the water was pretty warm for that time of the year. And I'm pretty sure the water gets much warmer in the summer. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes above 25 degrees uh, and that is a uh, surface water temperature. But here we are on our way back. Um, the ferry, even though it is, uh, it goes every half an hour, um, it can get pretty busy in, in the summer or uh, long weekends, uh, like we did go during the May long weekend. So the last day of the long weekend, we had to wait. Now we didn't wait a long time; it was only half an hour. So as we arrived, uh, this uh, this ferry was loading, and we were the second last car that was not allowed to basically go on the ferry. So we had to wait for the other one. Now uh, that gave us some time though to spend in Galena Bay. Now with that being said, it is probably better to keep that in mind if you're traveling in this area. You might have to wait for the ferry, so you might want to go a little earlier and uh, like account for the time that you might spend waiting. Now I did, um, there is a little bit like a beach on the side, but it is a rocky beach. It is not a sandy one. I did go in the water as well, um, but again, the bottom of the lake is very rocky there. It wasn't very pleasant to try walk or swim there. But we did get to explore the area a little bit and we did get some nice pictures on the rocks. Not these ones, the ones on the other side, but uh, there were <laughs> some logs here where you could also take some nice pictures <laughs> i guess but the rocks on the other side of the beach offered much better views and here is our ferry arriving <laughs> And we boarded the ferry and we were on our way back while wife was sleeping in the car. <laughs> A like and subscribe would be very much appreciated.
and don't forget the notification button that will notify you every time we upload awesome videos like this one. But here we are arriving at Shelter Bay and this will be it for this episode. Thank you very much for spending the time and I hope I'll see you in our next episode. Goodbye.